In this video, I want to show you how to use a great tool that we have called Google Hangout. And uh, it's a way that we can hold meetings over the internet. It's basically a video chat type of a function where up to nine people can get together, log in, and be able to have a conversation with each other or a meeting with each other um, over the internet. Now, the first thing you need to do is make sure you have a Gmail account. We talked about that in another video called How to Create a Gmail Account. If you don't have one, go check that video out first. If you've already got a Gmail account, then, then you're great. And then um, the next thing you need to do is just uh, log in to Google+. And if you're new to that, then uh, simply go to your... Uh, Google screen www.google.com and up in the upper right hand corner is a button called sign in you click on that that's where you enter um, there's my new account that I created recently for this video and I'm gonna enter my email I mean my password and log in uh, to my Google account and up here you see on the top left corner is the icon for Google Plus. It says Plus Ross. I'm going to go there and um, there's my my Google Plus home screen. That's where we're going to start next. The next thing we're going to show you is how to join a Hangout. If somebody else invites you to a Hangout, uh, how to accept that invitation and join the meeting. Now down at the very uh, lower left hand corner of my screen here, my, my uh, Google Plus screen, you can see this icon called Hangouts. And so um, I'm going to go look there. See someone just invited me to a Hangout and um, what that's, that's going to show up on this, you see it says Hangouts to join and here's a few things, I have no idea who these other people are, uh, but here's one where I basically invited myself to hang out using a different Google account that I have, but you can see there, Ross Anderson is hanging out, and um, there's the icon there. I click on that to join the Hangout. I'm going to do that now. Now, if you haven't used uh, Google Hangout before, you're going to have to install a plugin called Google Voice. And that's what enables uh, your computer to be able to share your audio and your video with other people. And so if you haven't used it before, it's going to bring up a, a, a window that's going to invite you to install the Google Voice plugin. Go ahead and do that. Here's what that invitation, that installation uh, looks like. And so just click on Install Plugin, and it's going to uh, begin to do that for you. Now that might take a couple of minutes, so you'll just have to wait. And there mine is done. And so I have now installed uh, Google Voice. And it's going to check it out for me, and I'll then soon be able to get in a Google Hangout. Now when you click on that uh, invitation to join, um, you'll get a screen like this as you're about to join a Hangout. And there's an, uh, your, you push that button, and it gives you an opportunity to join. And it's going to bring up a screen. And there, there I am hanging out with myself uh, on another computer uh, on a different account. So you can see that the pictures um, come up, and there's you, and there's the person you're hanging out with, and there could be several others at the same. So to join a hangout, uh, you just click on that button, install the plugin, and then you're in. And you can chat and share. Now I want to show you also how to start a Hangout. And uh, you may be the one who needs to call that meeting, and I want to make sure that you know how to do that. Let's say you just logged into Google+, and here you are on your home screen. You could go to Hangouts and start a Hangout there. But up in the upper right-hand corner, there's a tab that says start a hangout and so the simplest thing to do is to click on that and it will bring up a window that allows you to invite different people into your hangout 
So here's the window uh, where I can start a hangout. And the way I do that is I can add names of people. And in this case, I've already created a circle called My Team. I can and just add uh, all of them at once, all the people in that group at once. And I can name the hangout if I want to. I can call it you know, team meeting and put a date on there or whatever I want to do. And um, so there's four people in my team. I'm going to hit the Hangout button. And um, I have invited them all in and just waiting for them to join. So as I showed you, I invited guests uh, through the guests that I, through the group I already set up, or I could invite individual people. And once you add people to your uh, circles, a lot of times, once and they respond to you, then it's easy to add them because they have an icon that shows up. You can easily select uh, the icon for those people. So here we are in our Hangout, and um, you can't see it on this screen, but the pictures of all the people are listed on the bottom of the screen. Uh, hang on, I'll adjust. So now you can see uh, what it looks like. The people that are in the Hangout are listed on the bottom. And um, on the top, this, there's a menu here on the top that shows you some of the things you can actually do in your Hangout. And there's just a couple things in particular that I want to make. I want to show you how you can share documents or how you can uh, share videos. First of all, this button you can chat, you can have... Uh, Actually, you can uh, people can type in chat, which is not really that necessary because you can always talk to each other. But this is one uh, called Screen Share, where you can actually share uh, what's on your screen. If you need to bring up a video or bring up a document, you can share it with the other people in the Hangout uh, using this. For example, I'm going to show you a video I prepped on Screen Share. If you wanted to do this, you should kind of put the video up there first on your screen, maybe so you're ready to go when the meeting starts. I'll hit Screen Share, and um, it asks me what part of the screen I want to show, and uh, there it is. It's a video that's now showing. This would be visible on everybody's um, screen through Google Hangout. And so that, that's a possibility. You can show what's ever on your screen uh, through Screen Share, but you could also uh, show Google Docs. For those of you who are, who are uh, you should all be subscribed to Google Docs through your Google profile. You could click on that, and it's going to load the different documents that are available through Google Docs. And um, I've only got one, the one that I just made a little while ago that I'm making right now, actually how to use Google Hangout. But you could share any of those documents and show them on the screen of the people that are in the meeting um, there with you. But what I want to encourage you, once you kind of get the, begin to get the hang of it, I want to encourage you uh, to experiment a little bit uh, with this whole thing. Um, it's going to take some time to get used to it a little bit. But there's different things up here that you can do. You could show a YouTube video to everybody in your meeting. Uh, there's some other things. Check them out. You can see up on the top, there's a place where you can turn uh, sound or video on or off. Um, I turned the sound off because I'm recording right now. I could turn the video off uh, for a moment. And on other people's screens, that would go blank. And on my screen, you see it's got a red a mark on, on the picture so that... Um, I know that I've turned that off. Um, and then there's different settings available there. And then when the meeting is done, you simply exit. So check out Google Hangout. It's a, it's a great tool. Um, it, it sure makes it easier to meet together conveniently and to share ideas and share documents and, and without having to drive around. It's, it makes leadership and teamwork uh, so much more efficient. It's a great tool. I hope you'll learn how to use it and uh, you'll find it to be very beneficial. So take care. Good luck with that. Uh, God bless. Good night.